In this video, I will show you how to play Bleach Soul Resonance on PC. Bleach Soul Resonance is a role-playing game which has been developed by Newverse Games. Although this is available on Android, it's absolutely possible to play this on your PC or even in a Mac by using something called the Bluestacks App Player. So Bluestacks is an Android emulator, so what that means, it basically enables you to play Android games on your PC or Mac. To get started, come below this video, and in the video description, you're going to see a link to click. Click onto that link, and that's going to take you to a website like this. From here, you want to click the blue play on PC button. Now, what that's going to do is download the Bluestacks app player onto your PC. What you can do once that's downloaded is give it a click, and then run through the steps to download and install Bluestacks on your PC. Once it's ready, you're going to see a blue launch button. Give that a click, and what it's going to do is open up Bluestacks. And as long as you've clicked the link in the description down below, it's going to load up Bluestacks and take you directly to the download and install page for Bleach Soul Resonance. Now, at this point, what you want to do, you're going to see a install from Google Play button. Give that a click. And once you've done that, you'll be taken to the app page. Now, from here, just click the blue install button. And that's going to start downloading and installing Bleach Soul Resonance on your PC. You can see the game is 1.27 gigabytes. So it's just going to take a few minutes to download. Now, just while I was downloading, I just want to run through some things about Bluestacks and why I personally use it myself to play Android games on PC. And of course, why I would recommend it to you guys to play Android games on your PC or Mac. So there are a number of really cool features on Bluestacks, which I want to go through with you. To start with, I want to talk about game controls. Now, by playing on PC, you do have the opportunity to use your keyboard and mouse, and there is even gamepad support for a number of games. The controls are preset, good to go, but you can, of course, customize them to your own personal preferences. If, like me, you don't really get on with touchscreens or you prefer to use game controls, then this is a really great reason to start using Bluestacks to play Android games on your PC or Mac. Another thing I really love about Bluestacks is the built-in macros feature. Now, some games, of course, they do have those tedious tasks of dragging and dropping and things like that, which you have to do over and over. But you can actually record and replay actions with just a single key press of a key on your keyboard, saving you time and effort. And it's just a quick way to get through those boring parts of certain games. One thing that I really love about Bluestacks is the built-in real-time translation feature. Now, what this does, it allows you to play any Android game in your local language. So if, for example, there's games that have come out in other countries that you've been wanting to play, but you can due to language barrier reasons, well, now with Bluestacks, you can absolutely play these games, as Bluestacks is going to automatically translate those into your local language. Of course, another great fit reason to play on PC is you do get a much higher frame rate, which gives you a overall better and much smoother gameplay experience. And you have got the option to play all your Android games in full HD. So that's a couple of reasons why I personally love Bluestacks. But as you can see, there's a number of really cool features and reasons why you would want to consider using Bluestacks to play all your Android games on your PC or Mac. Coming back to Bluestacks, you can see that Bleach Soul Resonance has now finished installing. So at this point, you just want to go ahead to click the play button and that's going to launch Bleach on your PC using the Bluestacks app player. Here we are as you can see Bleach has now finished loading through so what I'm going to do as you can see is just asking me to enter my age into here so you can see I can use the keyboard as well as the mouse to control this so I can enter this using my keyboard and then click on to confirm. What we're going to do at this point is just log in with my Google account and that way I'll be able to save my progress so if I wanted to jump off my PC and play later on my mobile phone of course I'm not going to lose any of my save game progress. So let's just go ahead and jump into the game and now you can see exactly how it plays on Bluestacks. As you can see from the initial opening scenes that everything is playing really well. There's, it's running really smooth and there's no kind of lag that you can see. And you can see here now we've got some animations and again everything is running absolutely brilliant. There is no lag. In fact the screen quality is very very good. It's a very very sharp picture. So let's come up to the top and just skip past this so we can jump into the game. And then you can see exactly how the gameplay is. And here we are in game. Now you'll notice on screen we've got some controls come up and it's going to tell you how to to control the game. You can enable this by coming across to the right hand side, clicking onto this orange keyboard icon and toggling on screen controls on and off. 
off, which is really brilliant because you can see exactly how to control the game. So as you can see, it says drag the joystick to move Rukia around. To do this, what we're going to do is hold down the left mouse button and you can see I'm just basically dragging my mouse to move the joystick. And of course, we got our controls over here. So if we left click here, you can see that's to attack. We can shift, so press the shift key to flash step. We can also move around with WSAD. I'm actually using my keyboard to do this now as well. And personally, I just think this makes the game more immersive, you know, by using the keyboard and mouse rather than using a touchscreen. It's just a much better experience. But as you can see, even the gameplay itself is absolutely brilliant. It's running really smooth. The screen is so clear and sharp. And that's why I would highly recommend using Bluestacks to play Android games on your PC. So that is how to play Bleach Soul Resonance on PC. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.